Hey there, this is Tom from TPC Racing, DSC Sport. We are underneath a 2012 991. This was our development car for the DSC as well as our TPC adjustable sway bars. So with minimum modifications under this car, with only the DSC adjustable sway bars and a set of low ring springs just to get a little bit more negative camber, this car has been stellar. In fact, it's really hooked up on the track. We have uh, ran this car with various different tires from Michelin Pilot Super Sport Street Tires to Toyo R888s to uh, R7 Hoosiers. That's what uh, we've been running this car. So this car is now in the hands of one of our local customers and he brought it back after uh, a few track events and uh, started to describe a instability in the rear. Um, this car has, gosh, uh, 80 to 90 track days on it and uh, until recently this car was just really hooked up so I took the car out for road tests uh, not even on a racetrack on the street just on compression when I accelerate hard I noticed the rear wants to uh, walk out and it doesn't feel like it has a bad shock I've driven cars with bad shocks and it's just not the feel it feels like an alignment issue so, um, you know, I can feel this even the street driving. So, uh, imagine what my customer feels like on a uh, hard corner entry. So, uh, with this car on a lift, we were able to quickly diagnose the cause of the issue. The number of rubber bushing on this car is getting beat up over all the track days. You can see the split here. And if you look close enough, if the lighting allows, you can see the... Uh, rubber actually separating from the outer shell. So I can totally visualize every time I get on the throttle, even uh, whether straight line or corner entry, the uh, rear toe is deviating two, maybe even two or two and a half or three millimeters just from this. And here, uh, I mean, I know most of the uh, movement is lateral, but looking at this thrust here, by minimizing this movement, I think uh, you know this car will uh, get its stability back. Uh, interesting thing is on the 997-987 cars, the rubber bushing seems to hold up hold up better to uh, you know 80, 100 track days. I mean, ultimately it's good to replace them, but this particular car, or maybe in the 991 series cars the uh, rubber bushings just don't hold up that well for track use. So what we're going to do is replace these rubber bushings with these monoballs made by Elephant Racing. These are very well made pieces. They are even knurled on the side to keep in the aluminum part. So Elephant Racing makes um, a kit, or actually they have packages, that will replace every piece of rubber on this car in the back. And so uh, they are aware of this issue. And for this particular car, we're going to use uh, some of the cup car components just because we happen to have spares from our 991 cup racing program. So this here, uh, what some people refer to as a dog bone, we're going to replace this arm with and the front. But uh, Elephant Racing do make the complete arm or just the uh, bushing. So in the future, I would not hesitate in getting the full package from Elephant Racing. But for now, since we have these cup car ones, we're just going to uh, use them up. So um, yeah, so we're going to get busy replacing these control arms, sorry, bushings and links and uh, see how it goes. Stay tuned.